President Joe Biden expected to address Russian President Vladimir Putin today about the increasing presence of Russia's military in Ukraine, which U.S. officials say is a sign that Russian invasion of the region is ongoing and increasing. ABC's Ty Hernandez has the latest. President Joe Biden is set to talk with Russian President Vladimir Putin today as the situation over Ukraine grows more urgent. That's after Russia and Ukraine fail to come to any agreement during nine hours of negotiation. Now this warning from the National Security Advisor that Russia could invade Ukraine in just days. Credible prospect that a Russian military action would take place even before the end of the Olympics. The Biden administration says the U.S. has not concluded that Putin has made a final decision to invade Ukraine. But the U.S. is joining a growing number of countries, advising its citizens to leave Ukraine as soon as possible. Among those urged to leave is 25-year-old Aaron Starr, who's a teacher in Kiev and has a girlfriend there. He says he won't leave just yet. It's hard to leave your life. Like, obviously, if there's an actual war, I'll leave. Okay, I'm not going to live in a war zone. But in advance of that, it's hard to leave. Though the Kremlin continues to deny it has plans to invade and is accusing the U.S. of conspiracy to, quote, whip up tensions, Russia is conducting massive military drills in Ukraine's northern neighbor of Belarus and in the Black Sea. With more than 100,000 Russian troops near Ukraine's borders, military analysts warn Moscow has now built up enough equipment and vehicles for a major attack. We continue to see very troubling signs of Russian escalation. Uh, including new forces arriving at the uh, Ukrainian border. The U.S. sent 90 tons of military aid to Ukraine. 3,000 more soldiers from the 82nd Airborne Division are heading from Fort Bragg to Poland. American fighter jets and naval destroyers are also on their way to Eastern European NATO countries. Ty Hernandez, ABC News, New York.